Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Frilici Friday. It is fabulous. You guys, it's like spring out there. It's like crazy. We've had like super sunny weather the past few days, like pretty mild, like the birds. I feel like there are birds chirping. I mean, when it's only like middle of February. So, hey, Tracy, hello, welcome. Glad you can be here with us. So yeah, I'm just super excited. It's gonna be a good weekend, I think. Hello, Teresa. Thank you guys for popping on. So I've got, as usual, so much fun stuff to share with you guys today. Um, we are gonna start with, so our product of the week this week, hello, Philomena, is the Pretty Perennials Bundle. Such a cute stamp set and dies. I'm gonna actually show you the catalog. Wendy, hello, welcome. Uh, so let's see, yeah. So here, this is the Pretty Perennial Stamp Set. So this is what we're gonna be playing with today. And there is an awesome set of dies right here as well that coordinate with the stamp set. So I just, there's something about this stamp set. I think it kind of takes me back to like beginning stamping days. Um, I don't know, it looks like something I would have played with like way back in the day that really like first drew me to Stampin' Up! So when I saw this in the catalog, I was like, oh, I just love, love that stamp set and was excited to get it and play with it. And so we've got some fun projects to share with you today featuring that pretty perennial stamp set. And then they're called the Perennial Petals Dies. Plus I love, so I saw also uh, Dina Rico, who is one of our million dollar sales achievers. Hello, Christine, um, actually designed the stamp set. And I remember when she was talking about it, she said she really wanted to have the word happy in her stamp set. So I love that she did that and that, that you can kind of build um, all of these different sentiments with that happy word, right? So Rosemary, hello, welcome. So you've got the first one, you could say happy mail, right? Happy for you, sending lots of happy, happy birthday, and you make me happy. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that because it's backwards and I was trying to like check it out myself. So anyway, just a great stamp set. And then all of the dies, all the fun dies that they either cut, and you guys know this, right? When you look in our catalogs, whenever things are kind of highlighted, they're either grayed or in this case, it's kind of like a white, um, edge around it. That means there's a set of dies that coordinate with the stamp set. And then in super teeny tiny print somewhere down in here, it tells you what dies they coordinate with. Now in this case, it's super easy because the dies are right here on the same page. In our annual catalog, the dies aren't always um, pictured, so they refer you back to the page number that they're on also. So hello, Miss Sharon. So yeah, we are gonna have, I, I love this stamp set. And honestly, you can see like the, the whole stamp set, Basically, you can make like your own designer series paper. You kind of get the idea when you look at like, for example, this card, I loved that card right there. So you can just get bunches, um, you know, bunches of different colors um, out and just start playing with the stamp set and make your own pretty paper if you were so inclined. So super excited about sharing that with you guys today. And I just, hello, Janina, welcome. Um, I have to say thank you guys so much. I had totally planned on doing a Facebook Live last Friday. Becky, hello. Yay, I'm glad you caught me today also. And thank you. Thank you for sharing the video. So yeah, we have had a crazy couple of weeks around here. Um, <clears throat> I think I, I kind of posted, I don't even remember. I, I tend to not share a lot like personal on um, Facebook. And so I just kind of um, yeah, didn't post a bunch about what we've kind of been going through, but um, Lily, my daughter, 16-year-old daughter, um, was it Valentine's, like, afternoon, evening? She was out at her boyfriend's house, and um, they have, they live out in the country, and they have snowmobiles, and um, they decided um, they wanted to kind of tool around the yard on the snowmobiles. Well, this was Lily's very first time on the snowmobile, and the plan was to just kind of, like I said, tool around the yard, well, then they went a little bit further. They were not wearing helmets and um, she got in an accident. So I get the call, you know, kind of early evening Valentine's night that Lily's been in an accident. The ambulance is there. They're taking her to the hospital. And you can imagine, I'm like trying not to, you know, how when you talk about these things, you get emotional. Anyway, so it, it was like a crazy, crazy night for us because I went to the hospital. I got there before she did, actually. So I saw the ambulance oh, pull up. Um, so I was able to actually see her in the ambulance, taking her in to the hospital. I think they were like, okay, 
mom, <laughs> they let me be close. I, you know, I, I knew I'm like, I got to stay out of the way, but you know, you're like, ah, what's going on? So anyway, they had her in the hospital in Alma and they told me, you know, basically as soon as we got there that they were going to have to airlift her to another hospital. They took her down to Sparrow in Lansing, um, you know, a bigger facility, more resources. Um, they weren't sure of her extent of her injuries. So they're telling me um, she might have fractured her skull. There might be brain bleeds. They thought they saw some internal bleeding. She broke some ribs, like all of these things. Um, and actually one of the really big ones was her lung. Um, the, the rib that she um, fractured actually punctured her lung. So they had to put a chest tube in, which I, whenever you hear chest tube, I'm thinking that's like the ventilator where they put it down your mouth, you know, your throat. No, <laughs> now I know the chest tube is, they basically like poke a hole in your side in between a couple of ribs and they put a tube um, between those ribs up um, to your lung so that it can help um, keep it inflated, basically. Um, <clears throat> because something was happening in there that was kind of pressing and it was like making her lung collapse, I guess. So they put the tube in and that helps like drain like the um, fluid that's there and the air that's not in the right place. So the, it was like really pretty critical. And obviously when they life flighted her, like you're thinking, oh my God, what's gonna happen? So drove down to Lansing, got there, you know, kind of learned, um, hello, Pam, um, through the evening, I guess it was, that was a really obviously super scary night. Um, but through the evening and into the next morning, we kind of learned a lot of the things that they were worried about that might've happened to her didn't actually happen. So, um, I was super thrilled about that. Like no brain bleeds, no fractures of her skull. She did um, like I said, she fractured one rib that punctured her lung, and then she had a really bad concussion too. Um, so she was on a ventilator when she was first there, and that was the other crazy thing, that next morning she woke up and, you know, well, kind of, kind of woke up, right? They kind of are sedating you because obviously that's not very comfortable, but she was alert enough that she wanted to like write on, you know, like a tablet or something. So they got her a pad of paper on a clipboard and super groggy, you know, she's trying to write basically. And it was really hard to read, but she was trying so hard. She was basically saying that her throat was dry, she needed some water, and when the heck was this thing coming out? So, you know, from that perspective, the doctors are like, okay, that's awesome. Like she's a fighter, she's like already feisty and like, you know, ready for recovery <laughs> at a point when like, that's probably not gonna happen. So anyway, it was all, we just got kind of good news after good news after good news in terms of, you know, the things that they were worried about didn't happen so much. So sorry, super thankful. Um, you know, it was just um, kind of a long recovery because of that um, chest tube. They have to, you know, obviously make sure that there's something called a pneumothorax, which I think is basically like a little pocket of air in the lining of your lungs. And that's what presses on your lung and can make it collapse. So they had to um, wait for that to kind of dissipate to like, the tube was like pulling the air and the blood basically out. Um, and so once her lung was strong enough, and that was the other thing, like you can't take a good deep breath when you fractured your rib, right? Everything hurts like just to, you know, breathe a little bit. So it was kind of a long process of her lung healing enough so that they could take the chest tube out, make sure she was still okay. Um, and then be able to come home. So we came home on Saturday um, last weekend and she's still like concussion wise, you know, that's kind of gonna be the long term, you know, it'll take a little while, but um, she, uh, you know, really dizzy kind of feeling more than anything. And then um, the, you know, the, where the chest tube was, that's kind of sore too. Um, and the rib, basically that's like four to six weeks to heal. So yeah, so. Yeah, but basically she's like in an amazing place. There were so many prayers and like well wishes and messages coming through. And it was um, super scary experience, but also kind of a really like humbling, amazing experience too. So sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I wasn't really planning on talking about all this so much and then I just kind of kept going and I can't stop. So anyway, um, just you guys, thank you so much. I, I was so bummed to not be able to do this and obviously like clearly we were in the hospital and I was not like physically, I didn't do anything all last week. I was at the hospital with her. So anyway, I'm happy to be back. She's um, here and recovering and just um, kind of taking it easy. So um, things are good things will be 
wonderful, you know, as time goes on too. So just, it'll take a little while for her to get back to 100%. She's just kind of, she sleeps quite a bit still. She's just kind of chilling out. But each day I can see like more color in her face and she's just getting better and better. So thank you guys all so much for all your prayers and well wishes and um, for kind of hanging in there with me. But we are back. We are ready to do some stamping and have some fun and woo. <laughs> okay, we're past all that now. So yes, so don't forget we have, what is today? Like today is February 26th. Thank you guys for all your messages here too. I'm like, I I actually was pretty good about not reading them as <laughs> they scrolled through too. But Philomena, your sentiment, so many people said that family first always. And, and it's, yeah, it's such a, yeah, it's so, 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 so true. So thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're in a good place, much better than we were, you know, a couple weeks ago. So yeah. Okay. So yes, back to like fun. Now let's have some fun, right? So, and that's what like kind of the beauty of all of this is too. Like even, you know, um, just that kind of pick me up, right? That when things are maybe not going so well, we get out our stamps and our paper and our ink and we play and we kind of just, um, bring ourselves back up and help ourselves feel better and kind of feel that joy again too, which is what happened for me this week when I got to play with that fun uh, Pretty Perennials. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Pretty Perennials stamp set. So, okay, so don't forget we have three days, right? 26, 27, 28. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three more days of celebration, right? I want to make sure if you guys don't know, right, all the awesome things you can get for free during celebration. I'm going to flash them up real quick because you guys need to make sure, like this is like the last ditch effort. Put your orders in to get your free celebration items. You only have three more days. Usually celebration runs through the end of March. So I haven't been as good as I wish I had been, um, you know, to like make sure everybody knows about this. But three more days, that's it. We don't have till the end of March. We only have till the end of February. So you guys, thank you so much for all of your prayers and well wishes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, okay, so I'm, huh. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. So I want to show you stamp sets. We have a number of awesome stamp sets. Most of them, I think, do I even, yeah free for the most part with a $50 order, okay? So make sure if you want one of these stamp sets, get your order in while you can. So we've got the Darling Donkey stamp set. That's super cute. People have had so much fun playing with that stamp set. This is a really pretty one. I've seen some beautiful cards with this, the Corner Bouquet stamp set. Um, we have the Approaching Perfection stamp set. This one has a bunch of awesome sentiments. The other two, I guess they had a couple. These I have to read to you because I think they're so fun. So the first one is... The bad, excuse me, the bad news is I forgot your birthday. The good news is I forgot your age. That one's kind of fun, right? And then the little balloon and the candles, we've got happy birthday. So what if you're a year older? You're fabulous. Um, if things get, if things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. That's kind of a fun one. And then this one, news flash, birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. Okay, that's like hilarious, right? So that's a fun stamp set. Then we've got this one, right? Heal your heart. This is a great sentiment stamp set as well. And I love the fonts, right? We're in this together is the first one. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. That's that one right there. There's no way I could read that <laughs> backwards. Um, barely I can read it um, even the way it's facing me. Sorry for your loss. Um, I don't know what I would do without you. And then we've got wishing I could heal your heart, which is the name of the stamp set as well. And then the thank you and those beautiful fonts there. Then we have some designer series paper. We have the Oso oh Ombre designer series paper in four different colors. Does it tell me? If I can read the colors, we have, oh, this one is in like another language. That is too funny. Oh, so, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, Bermuda Bay. Uh, I think it was Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose. And I'm not sure of the other one. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, super fun little six by six pack of designer series paper. Then what else do we have? Some more paper. We have the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. I think I've shown you guys that. I should have brought my little sampler over so you guys could see. And then the Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. So all of those free with a $50 order. And then <clears throat> we have the Berry Blessings. This is kind of a bundle. Blackberry Bliss. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That was the other color in the Oso Ombre Designer Series Paper. Uh, Berry Blessings Stamp Set and 
the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. So these are free with a $100 order. We've got the Berry Blessings. We've got Sentiments Wishing You the Berry Best. Sorry, I put that in view, right? Bountiful Blessings and You Always Have a Way of Making My Day. So awesome stamp set and paper. Those have been super popular. I have loved, this celebration has been great. There have been so many fun things to get for free out of the celebration catalog. I think I did forget to bring one more over. I'm realizing, let's see. The, oh, it's the A Touch of Ink stamp set. So this one is free also with a $100 order the Touch of Ink stamp set. So because that's a larger stamp set. I know, like Nikki, that berry paper is super cute, isn't it? I think it's been fun too, especially with like kind of cold, dreary winter to play with that super like fun spring summery looking paper. So anyway, make sure I have just, like I said, I feel like I've kind of been living under a rock for a little while. <laughs> so I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, we have three days left of celebration. So make sure you take advantage of it while you still can. I will give you the host code too when you put an order and make sure you use the host code. It's always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, yeah, so do that and then I'll show you all the fun stuff you can get for free when you put your order in and use that host code. So the other thing to know is if you have this huge wish list, right? Um, if there are just tons of things that you want out of the January to June mini catalog or our current annual catalog, go ahead and get the starter kit, right? Because you get to pick $125 in product, you pay only $99 plus sales tax, that 10% shipping fee, like who likes to pay for shipping, right? So I love that that 10% shipping fee is waived um, on your starter kit order. Plus, you also get five packs of designer series paper. So we have the current in colors, um, the subtles, regals, neutrals, and brights. And these are new patterns of designer series paper, 200 sheets in here. You cannot order these. These are gonna be in our next annual catalog, but the only way you can get like sneak peek of these is to get that starter kit. And I have to show you, this was a card that I made. Um, I cased this from Brenda Quintana because um, I loved it so much, but she used, so this is some of, I'm gonna try to kind of zoom in, but this is some of the new designer series paper. So this is Magenta Madness and there's kind of that um, plaid and then another little um, fun pattern. So front and back of that paper. So those are two of the different um, patterns of designer series paper. Plus I love that, um, that stamp set too. I'm totally drawing a blank on the name of the stamp set right now. Um, it was my class to go to. Fine art, maybe fine art. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even say. Anyway, but these cards I made and sent out to my top five um, sellers in my Inkspired Stampers group this month. And I, I loved being able to kind of share a sneak peek of paper and then one of my favorite stamp sets. Why can I not? Sorry, the lingo is gone. <laughs> the names of things are not in the brain right now. I'm probably gonna struggle with that a lot today. So sorry, fine. I know Nikki, I, art gallery, fine art, it's one of those. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's beautiful, right? So yeah, so you can get $125 in product, all that 200 sheets of designer series paper with your starter kit. You have three days left to do it. So make sure you pop online. Um, there is a link on my um, blog at gathering ink, ink with a K, right? Gatheringinspiration.com. I am happy to to get your starter kit order put in for you too. If you don't want to futz with it, just let me know. I'm happy to help you or if you have any questions at all. Plus the other awesome thing is once you get your starter kit, you generally get your demo ID and password like emailed to you right away. You can put your first order in and still take advantage of celebration. You can get a free item with every $50 order you put in. Plus you also get 20% off of everything that you order once you get your starter kit. So it's like a no brainer, right? couple days left to be able to uh, take advantage of that. So make sure you do that. And let me know if you have any questions, all right? Um, okay, I'm looking at my notes. I was trying to like see how much I could memorize, but that's not happening today. Um, 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 okay, I think we are ready to do our first drawing. I'm gonna move. I feel like I've already got to clear some room here. Too many things that I'm looking at. Okay, hold on. This will make me feel better if I move some stuff out of the way. Okay. So yeah, let's do our first drawing. All right, I've got my names right in here, right? So we are drawing 
four. The super cute, these are the little details embossing folders. So we've got two. You can see they're kind of the mini size, right? Not full size. These fit perfectly in our mini cut and emboss machine, right? Okay, so names are in here. You guys know the drill, right? If you share the Facebook Live video, or if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, if you do that, your name is in here also. You also get a free PDF tutorial when you sign up for my email list. So win, 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 win situation there. So make sure you do that. That's the best way to stay updated on what's going on with me and with Stampin' Up. Um, just keeps you super uh, current, right? So, okay, here we go. And for every share that you do, your name is in here. So if you share 10 times, your name is in here 10 times. And I totally appreciate your shares, especially if you're a part of other uh, crafting groups. That is a huge way for me to kind of reach out and meet some new people. And I always love to do that. It's great for my business and truly appreciate your support of that. Okay, so here we go. The winner is Miss Susan Pacheco. Congratulations, Susan. You are the winner of the Little Details Embossing Folders. I was all of a sudden like, what's the name of it? I thought I knew it, but yeah. So I will get these sent out to you, Miss Susan. Congratulations. Okay, I gotta dump those out of there because we have to get ready for the next drawing. We'll do that in just a little bit. So Sharon, your name keeps popping up. It says Sharon Greening is watching, but it's popped up like 40 times. So I feel like maybe something's going on with you being able to watch. <laughs> Hopefully it's all right, right? Um, okay, so this week we are going to give away on our next Facebook Live the Opal Round Embellishments. So it's funny because these really don't look like much on here, but I have used these things so much this winter. Like on every, I think it's because they kind of go with um, everything, right? Yes, Wendy, you're missing making cards. I'm sure you are. Yeah, it'll be nice when you can get back to that. I hope you're feeling okay these days too. Um, yeah, so this, these are just such fun. What I think is kind of cool about them, and it's pretty bright in here, so I don't know if you can see, but that kind of opal look to them. <laughs> you're just watching a lot, okay. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, you're really, really, really watching, right, Sharon? That's funny. Um, but these, it's kind of an opal look to them, so they kind of pick and pull up any of the colors that are on your cards. They're just very, like, kind of multifaceted, so beautiful embellishments that we will give away for your shares and if you're new and sign up for my email list. The link is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com for the email sign up. And then I also, in the details above this YouTube, I always say that, above this Facebook Live video, I will give you the link um, to be able to sign up as well. Oh, Wendy, that is awesome. Wendy just made a comment here that she says they that she got the news that they got all of her cancer. So, oh, that is so awesome. Congratulations, Wendy. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, that's a huge relief, I'm sure, to know that, yeah, you're on your way then. So, yeah, continued prayers for recovery and, yeah, move, kick cancers, right? And, like, move on. <laughs> so good for you. That's awesome. I'm glad, so glad, so glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to show you guys what I'm going to show you next. Well, this is totally out of um, order, but I'm like looking at them and I'm like, oh, these are so cute. And I think um, this is a great sentiment for Wendy and for all of the women in our lives, right? So these are just some fun little um, treats that I made. Um, so I love, this is like a little, oops, oh, it's turned around. I guess you have to see. So these are yummy. I have sampled a couple of these. So sorry, that was in backwards, but that's the basic idea. So I love, hello, Miss Cindy in Pennsylvania. Thank you. I'm glad you can join us. And Barb, hello. I just saw your name pop up there too. So can you guys see, this is from the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. We've got to an incredible woman. <laughs> yes, you guys are all so awesome. I love all your, yes, congratulations for Wendy too. That's very, very cool. So yeah, so Wendy, you are an incredible woman, right? Kicking cancer's bootay. And yeah, having some fun. Um, well, we'll have some fun, like, right, when you can get back to doing your stamping. But yeah, so these are just some fun treats that I made. So I'll show you guys, too. Um, I don't know if you can see. This is the Blushing Bride. Um, oh, I don't even know. What is it? Like a metallic -y, kind of a shimmery. There, you can kind of see the shimmer right on there, right? So just some beautiful ribbon. And then this is, I have to look at my um, catalog because I don't remember the names of any of these things. But it's kind of, it's in the beginning of our catalog, the Love You Always Sweet. 
Yes, so it is the Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon and then the Love You Always Specialty Designer Series Paper. So in the catalog, you can see there are these three different patterns of paper and then there's the ribbon. And then I always love to show because this is the suite and all the fun things you can make with everything in that suite. But yeah, so there's the paper and there's the ribbon and then you pop that up. And then here's another one, right? With another um, one of the patterns of paper slide oops slide that up and then this is some of i think this is gray granite ribbon this is from the annual catalog and again right to an incredible woman ooh and then how about this you guys can see the little opal rounds right there also so fun little treats had to share those with you guys um, I love making treats for my club members, right? So as I'm thinking about that too, hey, Jackie, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you can join us for the live as well. We've got lots of fun new faces, so I'm super excited about that. You guys, thank you. I'm happy that you found us too. So um, yeah, club member treats. I love to make those, right? So anybody that is a part of my Simple Beautiful Card Club or my Scrapbook Club, those are two of my local events that I do right here in Alma. But then I also have the Class to Go Club. So if you want to get cute treats and make fun projects every single month, you might think about joining the Class to Go Club. So for example, we just finished up, that's it, the Fine Art Floral. Now I remember, Fine Art Floral, Class to Go. Um, I'm going to be prepping those kits and sending them out um, Mm, yeah, the beginning of March, right? <laughs> Trying to like get my news or my um, time. Yes, and Philomena is a club member. That's very sweet of you to say that she loves getting the treats. I love making them and sending them too. So put your kits together and then I always love to throw a little something extra in there for you too. So that's something to think about. If you want a little stamping fun and inspiration every single month, join the Class to Go Club. There is more info for that on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com or get in touch with me if you want to know more about it. But basically, you can get a cute kit sent to you every single month. Um, sorry, there's a text that's popping up. I'm getting a lot of texts right now that it's like hiding. Not that I really need to like watch myself talking because honestly, I, I think I look really tired. <laughs> I'm realizing that, oh, I should have put some more makeup on or something. Um, anyway, so yeah, Class to Go Club. Love to have you join that and you can get cute fun kits from me every single month. I do a PDF tutorial that tells you how to put your cards together. Um, and what else? I basically send you all the parts and pieces that you need. And um, yeah, okay, let's see, Lori. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm glad you can join us. Your brother's on his way to Florida. Oh, that's not fair. I want to hop in their car with them. I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of here for a little while, right? I think everyone probably is right about now. So, um, okay. So I think, let's see, we are, I feel like I've been talking a lot already, but that's how it's going to be today, I think. So, okay. Um, let's talk about our next drawing, right? So if you put an online order in anytime after our last Facebook Live through Wednesday of this week, you automatically get to the projects that I made on our last Facebook Live. 83 degrees. That's not fair, Lori. So you automatically get both of these cards. I'll be mailing these out to everybody that put an online order in. You automatically get those cards. Your name also goes in the drawing. And I upped the ante. I'm like, okay, I'm going to give away two of these these punch party stamp sets. So not just one winner this week. We're going to have two winners for the punch party stamp set, which is awesome. This is basically a stamp set you can only get for free with a $300 order right now, which, you know, that's might be kind of tough for people to do, right? You never know. If you were so inclined to put a $300 order in, you would get this stamp set. You would also get $36 in free like host rewards because you get, yeah, 12%, right? Is that right? Yeah, 12% of $336. And you'd also get six free celebration items. So it's not a bad deal. It's the best time. If you want to put a big whopping order in, do it right now during celebration. You get that stamp set for free. You get the free host rewards and you get six free celebration items. But if you're not doing that, maybe you put an online order in through me and you're automatically going to go in the drawing to win one of these stamp sets that we're going to give away in just a second, right? The other thing, if you happen to bump your order up to $50, which honestly, right now during celebration, why would you order less than $50, right? You get a free celebration item with every $50 orders. Uh, excuse me, you only have three more days to do that, right? You also, from me, get to pick either 
the demo design dream team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for the month, which is also the opal rounds, right? So $50 order gets you celebration item and then either one of these two guys from me as well as a thank you for your order. So it's seriously like the best time to order. Three days left. I hope I've made that clear, right? Only three days left of celebration. So, okay, with that being said, I have my names in here. So thank you guys for your online orders. I appreciate those so very, very much. So I get to draw two names this week to give away two Punch Party stamp sets. Okay, so the first one goes to Miss Ellen Richter. All right, congratulations, Ellen. You are the proud, oops, excuse me, I'm gonna like drop that or my elbow caught it. New owner of the Punch Party stamp set. Okay, so we got one. All right, so let's do one more. Okay, shake these around again. One more Punch Party stamp set to give away. And it is gonna go, oops, they're, they're like stuck together. My eyes are always like, ah. Gotta make sure I can feel them all pulled apart. Okay, I've got one more in my hand and it goes to Miss Susan Travis. All right, congratulations, Susan. You are the other winner of the Punch Party stamp set. So thank you guys so very much for your online orders. I truly appreciate that is honestly what allows me to keep doing these Facebook Live videos is your online orders. So thank you for every single, whatever size order you would want to put in, I appreciate every single order. So thank you guys for those orders. So also with that being said, on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away the Approaching Perfection stamp set. So this is one you can get for free during celebration. This is the one that I told you all those fun, um, like silly kind of sentiments, right? So if you put an online order in, all you have to do is put a $30 order in through me and you could get your name in the drawing to, and you could win this stamp set, right? So I have to show you, we made some fun cards with this Approaching Perfection stamp set. These were the make and takes for um, everybody in my downline, my Inspired Stampers group. If they got the make and takes from me for the meeting, these are the cards that we made. So they feature that Flower and Field Designer Series paper and then um, the Approaching Perfection stamp set. So that's that silly news flash. Um, sentiment, right? And then this one about the approaching perfection. <laughs> That's kind of a fun one, right? And then, oops, there's this one right here. We made a little happy birthday. And then lastly, the bad news, I forgot your birthday. The good news, I forgot your age. So fun little cards there with that approaching perfection stamp set. So again, put your order in, just $30 order, get your name in the drawing for that. Plus, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes. So, okay. Mm, yeah, we did our drawings. We talked about that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I just have to show you guys. Thank you, Jackie. I'm glad you like those cards. They were fun cards to make. Um, okay. Clean it up, cleaning up, cleaning up. So we, I have gotten a bunch of cards lately and I thought, you know what? I want to share these with you guys. So um, I'm going to do that. Am I going to, maybe we'll, let's flip the camera down because then you can see them the right way. I think I've showed you guys everything else. I'm like looking at my little stash here, but yeah. Let's do that. We're gonna turn the camera down. So turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna fly through the air. I'll put the camera down, although we have a huge glare because the sun is totally shining, which is awesome. Um, so I'm gonna have to move my table too. So all right, we're flipping this thing down. So turn your heads away real quick. Okay. All right. Everything looks wonky to me for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. Oh, yeah, look at that glare. Okay, here we go. So we gotta be able to see what we're doing. Oh, so I, <laughs> I have my um, embossing gun. I'm just realizing like that cord is not gonna stretch all that way. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of embossing today. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't like make that like crash on the floor. Okay, I think, are we good here? There. <laughs> there everything feels a little bit crooked hopefully you guys aren't getting that too oh well okay it's pretty good anyway right okay so let me show you I just had a bunch of cards so Miss Michelle 
try to cover her address. She found a bunch of old paper pumpkin kits, so and she's been sending me lots and lots of cards. So this is a paper pumpkin kit from quite a few years ago, and I do kind of remember it, but I love this. Enjoy the moment, right, um, with the beautiful texture on there. And then she just wrote a nice note that she had found a bunch of her paper pumpkin kits. So thank you, Michelle. She says, happy days on the outside of that one. And then we have, this is a card from Teresa. Yes, from Teresa Hinchman. So this was a super fun uh, Valentine's Day card. Isn't that so? Like the little Cupid with the arrow. Super duper cute. Amy, happy Valentine's Day. Love Teresa. Loved that one too. <clears throat> and then Michelle, because she's like a crafting fool right now, she made this card too with that fine art floral designer series paper i think it's called right and then just um a little thank you inside there also but i love that fun fold right there too right so beautiful and then let's see we've got oh this one was from miss nancy and she sent this <coughs> card thinking of you with all my heart so this was a just a beautiful card um, i started receiving cards from people about lily which was very very sweet so i love this ribbon i love the purples the purple and green for like card making i think is such a fun color combination so that's from miss nancy gulick and then michelle honestly she can't stop crafting this was another i kind of remember this one too from a few years ago another paper pumpkin kit oops upside down there we go <coughs> i have a tickle in my throat too and she mentions that they got lots of snow. She's out in uh, the state of Washington. So she this kind of reminded her of all the snow they've been getting <coughs> out in Washington. All right, excuse me. I got to get a sip of water. Move that one out of the way. All right, and then Lily got some cards too. So this one... We kind of made a mess of opening this, but this is from Sunday, and I love so so. But there's something I love this envelope. I don't know what it is. I think it's all of the the gold accents too. But beautiful, huh? And then let's see. This one is from Miss Sharon, who is watching. Sharon, your name keeps popping up too. Love this. This is part of that Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. One of the pretty dies. I'm trying to remember the name of this. Um, I think it's one of the fern dies in the annual catalog. And then this ribbon, this one is a retired ribbon, but I absolutely loved, I still remember, that was from like a big project kit kind of thing that we had. And Sharon um, did some nice stamping on the inside there too. So thank you ladies again for all of your cards and well wishes. And then this one is from Miss Roseanne Lafreniere. And this is another little fun fold, right? So isn't that cute? Um, and she just says, sorry to hear about your accident and that she's praying for Lily. So thank you guys so very much for all of your cards and well wishes. They were Honestly, God here heard. He heard your prayers. I just truly believe that. So thank you so very much for that. Okay, I think I'm going to check my notes, but I feel like I've showed you everything. I think we've talked about enough. Okay, let's do some stamping. Okay, I've got my grid paper here. I'll show you. So this was our host code for the month, too the 7WNJTGY9. So that's the code that you want to use if you're going to order online through me so that you can get all the fun freebies, the Facebook Live freebies, okay? So I'm going to scoot that up a little bit because I want to make sure that my paper, this is what always tells me. If I'm on the paper <laughs> and I had it set up properly, you guys will see what I'm doing. So just trying to make sure I've got that set and in view. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on too. I feel like I might need those. Too bad the glasses are a little bit dirty, but <laughs> oh well. Okay, so Pretty Perennials stamp set. Love, love, love the stamp set. I think it, it's happy, right? It, the flowers are happy. There's happy in it. You can use the happy sentiment so many different ways in this stamp set. So we are basically going to make our own designer series paper. Like I said, I saw this is kind of a version of the card that's in the catalog. And so I got online and looked up all of the colors that Stampin' Up! used. And I'm like, okay, we are making this because I think it does a really good job of showing you all of um, the fun, and this isn't even all of the stamps in the stamp set, right? Um, oh, Lily's leaving. Oh, she timed that just right, so I turned the camera down, and now she's going to walk by. 
<laughs> She's laughing. She didn't really actually time it, but it kind of seems like it. Because I did just turn the camera down, didn't I, ladies? Otherwise, you could see her. She's looking good, though. She's had a couple of showers since she's been home, which she's been very, very thankful for, right, Well, <laughs> Okay, bye, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably one of the worst parts about being in the hospital, right, is not, not being able to clean up like you would like to. <laughs> but there were many days when she didn't really even know about all that, so that wasn't, it wasn't the priority, that's for sure. Okay, so let's see. Let me tell you about... Um, dimensions first. Let's do that before we do our stamping because otherwise I'm afraid I might forget. Okay, so Coastal Cabana. This is a favorite color combination of mine too, the Coastal Cabana and with the black accents. There's something about that and the white too, the black and white and Coastal Cabana. I love that color combo. Okay, so we've got our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter, this time to make a tall card. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? So the card is gonna stand up like that, right? Then we have a piece of basic black cardstock that measures three and three quarter by five inches. And then our basic white cardstock, just an eighth of an inch smaller. So this one is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So you can see that just lays on there and the black just peeks out a little bit behind there. Okay, all right, so let's see. You know what I wanna do first so I just get it done? I'm gonna do the little heat embossing. And I loved, so on Pinterest, I kinda of went there to get some inspiration too, and I loved, I saw a lot of this embossing, um, you know, where you stamp it in Versamark with uh, white embossing powder and then heat emboss it. So it kind of really pops on that black cardstock. So we're gonna do that first. Um, let me get my little, so I just have a strip. Uh, this is like a three quarter inch wide strip of basic black cardstock. So we are gonna grab that. I am going to, let's see. I did find that this was helpful. I'm trying to decide if I want my glasses on or not. I think I'm taking them off for a sec. With this, with the sentiment, I think with the birthday sentiment, um, you can get ink or um, the embossing powder in places that you don't really want it. So I think this little embossing buddy is very handy to have. It kind of helps just make sure that you don't get um, powder where you don't want it. Okay, that's Memento ink. We don't want that. We want our Versamark ink. And we've got our birthday stamp. Okay, so nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Let's see, we're going to put that, I'm going to rub firmly to get all the ink off. Hmm, that's interesting. It almost looks like it's stuck a little bit. Let's see if that works. If not, we'll do it again. So I just use the little Ziploc containers for my embossing powder. So then I can sprinkle over. Let's see, we can kind of get an idea. Yeah, that really ripped. Huh, so Versamark is super sticky. We're going to try that again, okay? Um... So I do have my cleaner. Maybe I'm gonna, I wonder if maybe it wasn't cleaned very well. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay, we're gonna clean it. <clears throat> Could you guys, you couldn't even see that. I've just got this little, my chamois here. I'm just gonna clean that a little bit. I wonder why it is sticky. Just the ink itself is. You know what, where's this little guy? I feel like I wanna do that. I'm gonna do that on this end now. Okay, so here we go. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, that did not stick. What I really like to do is make sure that I cover up my ink before I add my embossing powder though, because you never know, this stuff tends to fly around a little bit. So we just sprinkle that on there. There, that's looking better. We're gonna just tap that off. So you can see that's where we're at now. Now I am gonna step away for a quick sec and um, heat emboss that. Normally I would do it in front of you guys, but since I had to pull the table over here, the embossing gun is over there further and it won't reach. I didn't think to bring an extension cord. Okay, so here I am over here embossing. We'll just do this real quick. <clears throat> well, maybe kind of real quick. <laughs> you know, another person would have just had this done. But you know, I was going to show you how to do this. Alright, I think that's good. 
Okay, so there we go. Now you can kind of, it's so really popped, right? So there's one that's not heat embossed, and then there's one that is. I feel like I need to do that a touch more though. Because if you don't emboss it enough, then if you touch it, the powder flakes off. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. So the bottom of the B almost looked like it wasn't embossed as well as I wanted it to be. So, okay, I think we're good there. Okay, so we got that piece. I'll move this out of the way and that stuff out of the way. Now, we can do our stamping. So I think the first step is to get your black ink and we're gonna stamp the word happy on here and then everything else, sorry, that is... I won't have to pound so much. This one's more of a linen ink pad, and I want to make sure I get enough ink on there. So we're going to stamp our happy right there. That was kind of wiggling, I know. Okay, I do need to keep that open. All right, so we've got that one. Next, we are going to do our bright pink. So with Melon Mambo, we are going to stamp, and actually I want to grab, where's my little, because I'm going to go off the edges there. So I'm going to put that underneath there. Okay, so we're gonna stamp one pink flower there. We will do one right there and one more right there, okay? So we got that with our Melon Mambo. Next, let's add some leaves in Old Olive. So we've got this stamp right here. And I liked the idea of stamping once full strength and then stamping off there, okay? So then we'll do another once full strength and stamp off. We're gonna just do that a couple more times. So once there, and there, and maybe there, and there, okay? All right, I'm trying to kind of duplicate what I have over here. <laughs> I think I'm doing all right so far. Okay, next we want our, we're gonna do Daffodil Delight ink, and we're gonna do the other little flowers. We've got this little, the little four petal flower. Okay, so we're going to stamp one up in the corner. We'll do another one right there and another one kind of right there. Okay, I think that's it with that one. So can you see how this is just kind of building together? Now we're going to use crushed curry with the little teeny tiny, just those little, it's like five little dots. And we're gonna add those kind of to the center of this little four petal flower. So it just kind of adds a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Like this one right here, you can just see it's a little bit darker in the center there. Okay, now for the fun with the Coastal Cabana. I love this little stamp and this actually works really well. I was kind of um, pleasantly surprised. Um, this next step, I guess is what I mean. I'll show you in a sec. So we've got that one right there. I think I stamped it down a little bit lower than I did the last time. So I've got a little more white space. That's all right though. So let's see, maybe we'll do that one right there. And one more we'll do up there. Okay, so this is kind of what I was telling you guys about. The black ink we're gonna use. That one there. Yeah, okay. Actually here, we'll do these first. So we're gonna add some black centers here. That one. And that one, and that one. And you guys see how I'm doing the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. This is a little bit firmer tap. I would never press this hard on any of our other ink pads though. You just get ink all over the place. But check this out, the little, this thing fits in here perfectly. Hopefully I do that, yeah, I did do it well. Okay, good. <laughs> As I was saying, check this out, I was feeling a lot of pressure to make sure I did that right. Okay, one more there. Do one there. Isn't this so pretty? I love, let's see, where's that gonna go? Right there, I think, there, okay. So scoot that out of the way because that's kind of making it seem really busy, isn't it? Okay, there, <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you guys, I know, I love. So you can see, I mean, just whatever colors you're feeling, like whatever you wanna add, um, you know, maybe if you're making a birthday card, right? Any, well, your, whoever you're sending the birthday card to their favorite colors, use those with the stamp set and you can just make a really personalized card there also. Okay, so I think we are ready to put things together. So I'm gonna add adhesive on the back of this piece. Okay, 
oops, excuse me. And then we're gonna just kind of center that around there, right? That looks good. Then I use dimensionals on the back of this. I like the idea of this kind of popping up on our card base. Okay, so oops, that one kind of went off the edge. I wanna move that over a little bit more. There, okay. So you can see, I mean, simple card, right? It's just lots of fun stamping. Those little backings are sticking to me. I'm feeling like I've got a lot of static electricity today for some reason. <laughs> yes, easy and colorful, thank you. Yes, that's my style, Miss Jackie, I think it was. It scrolled out of the way, yes, Jackie. Yes, that is easy and colorful. <laughs> that is me for sure. Okay, so we're just gonna use our paper snips and just kinda snip that off right about there. Okay, scoot those out of the way. And then I'm gonna just put a couple of our little baby dimensionals, the minis, on the back of this. I got a couple extra there, and that's all right, okay? All right, let's see now, I gotta scroll back up. Sharon, your name has still popped up. <laughs> yes, you are, there are many Sharon Greenings watching today is kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> all right, let's see if we go maybe right about there. All right, last step. I think I mentioned, if you guys can see, I added a few of those opal rounds. You can kind of see how they pick up the colors. So I just, I needed a little bit of texture. There's something, I'm like, okay, it's great. The stamps, ink and paper, and then something, just a little something else. And I thought these little opal rounds, and they are super sticky. Like I have a little bit of a hard time kind of um, pulling them up off of this sheet. So let's see if I can, I'm trying to get, underneath there too. Okay, maybe we'll do one right there. And one more, I'm gonna put up at the top. <laughs> so not adept at this, using this one, maybe put one right there, there we go. So I love to just kind of sprinkle those accents around on the card. So there we go, happy birthday, fun, bright, beautiful, springy colors, right? almost matching. <laughs> it's funny, I look outside, I'm like, there's a lot of snow still, so there's a lot of sun, but there's a lot of snow still, ladies, so spring is not here yet, uh, but we're working on it. Okay, so that was card number one. I am going to do a quick cleanup because I use a number of these stamps again, so I'm going to just clean them all. So I've got my chamois. It definitely needed to be wet, <laughs> Sharon, I have no idea what's going on. That's all right. I'm going to make sure. I'm pretty sure I used this one again, and I don't want any black ink. Yeah, so you can still use your chamois, ladies, when it's like kind of rock hard on the outside. This is still wet in the middle. <laughs> Clearly, you can see that's where I clean them most of the time anyway. Okay, because that is where all of the, <laughs> the ink is sitting. Okay, there we go. All right, so I don't think I need any of these ink pad colors, so I'm moving all of these out of the way so I do not confuse myself. I don't think I need black. Okay. Now, this next one is kind of stepped up a little bit. I wanted to show you some of the dyes that we can use in this set also. Okay, so this one, but same idea, right, with the stamping. And then, um, like I said, some of the dyes that we used on here also. So let's see, I know I'm gonna need that one and that one and that one. I didn't use this one. I did use the happy birthday. Okay, so there, good. <laughs> My efforts to stay organized, ladies, have to do it. All right, so we get our ink pad colors out too. Yeah, we are gonna need, I was thinking, do I wanna get those all out? But yeah, we're gonna have to get them out and then do our die cutting. Okay, so this time we have, I did another tall card. I'm in the mood for tall cards today, I guess, ladies. So this is Bumblebee cardstock, one of our current in colors. Ooh, while I'm thinking about that too, because um, our next annual catalog is actually gonna be live May 1st. So that kind of backs things up a little bit. It used to be June. Well, I think it's May 4th or something. Anyway, beginning of May. Used to be beginning of June. So my point is these in colors, um, actually, let me think about that. These are not the ones that are retiring, but it's kind of making me think about it, right? So our, our current in colors that are retiring 
Where is my catalog? I think I could even show you guys this. Sorry, this is like totally off track, but I had this thought and so now I just have to share it with you guys. Okay, so the in colors that are retiring. My point is get them while you can before the retiring lists come out and everything sells out. So these in colors right here, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, and Purple Posy. Those five in colors are gonna retire um, at the end of April, 2021. So we're only in February, so you've got some time, but people are gonna start snatching these things up, especially once the retiring lists come out. I think in March they come out, okay? So get those things while you can, the retiring colors. Ink, ink refills, cardstock, ribbon, other embellishments, get all of that while you can, right? Okay, so back to, this is a current in color that's around for another year, so don't panic on this bumblebee color, right? So bumblebee cardstock, again, on the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter, and along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half, okay? So another tall card like that, right? And then we just have basically pieces of um, Magenta Madness. I'm gonna make sure I'm not giving the wrong, yep, Magenta Madness, and then Whisper White, and we're gonna use our, uh, rectangle stitched dies to cut these things out. So actually I do, I wanna cut this one first before I do my stamping. So let's cut both of these and then we'll come back and we'll do our stamping of the rest of the flowers and things. So yeah, good, I'm glad I didn't spread out too, too much because we're gonna do the die cutting on those two first. Okay. All right, so I've got my cut and emboss machine. I'm going to have to do these separately because they won't both fit on here at the same time. Okay. Got the Magenta Madness piece. So these are the rectangle stitched dies. We're actually using the largest two. So these are the rest of them. And then these are the more narrow. And then there's that little guy that I forget about. And I'm like, that's the perfect little thing for, you know, like a little sentiment. I'm like, I got to remember that. All of these are great, actually. The little narrow ones, too. Okay, so we are using the two largest ones though. So the very largest is gonna go on our magenta and then the second largest is gonna go on the basic white. Okay, so this will probably make everything shake. So bear with me or turn your heads away. These big dies like this tend to um, really kind of take a lot <laughs> to get, there we go. All right, that wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But there we go, there's that one with just that little, can you guys see in the right light, maybe a little bit of stitching on there, okay? And then we've got our basic white, and we'll do the same thing with this one, okay? Just crank this one through to, uh, oh! <laughs> it's like that whole long edge just takes a lot to get, I'm trying not to <laughs> wiggle everything all over the place. And again, there is that one right there, okay? And maybe you can kind of see the stitching on that one. I don't know. All right, we'll scoot that out of the way. We're going to need that again in a sec. But okay, so same idea. Ooh, that one's not as busy on there. Okay, um, this actually might not go off the edge now that I'm looking here. Okay, are we all straight enough? So those things. Okay, so we're going to do stamping on this piece and some stamping and die cutting here. Okay, so we're gonna start with our sending lots of happy. So this is, what is that? Highland Heather. All, all of a sudden I was like, what's the color? Purple, Highland Heather. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our happy right there. And then we've got this sending lots of, and we're gonna fit that right in between the H in the Y. Oh, all right. I did a good job. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. Oh, Philomena, you like those rectangle dies, do you? Yeah. And I kind of, they got buried in the back of my stash, I feel like. So I haven't used them as much as I would like to. Um, actually, and these are fun, pretty colors, aren't they? Yeah. You guys see those? So I'm trying to replicate this again. I'll keep that right there so you guys can help keep me on track. So now I think the next step for me is going to be this little purple because most everything else... I think I decided I wanted it down a little bit more, that maybe I had it up. Hopefully that works out all right for me. <laughs> so that little Highland Heather piece, and then, ooh, 
Actually, we're using all of the, these are all in colors, right? So Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, and then Highland Heather is not, but all of the others are. Yeah, that's probably why it's such a fun color combination too, right? Okay, so this little piece, the little stems on here, I, I just love how they um, did this. It just fits in there so perfectly. There we go. Okay, now everything else, I'm going to keep things open. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do some leaves in Just Jade. Hopefully you guys can see. I get so intent on what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention to weather. You guys can see. Okay, so we got two sets of leaves. Um, I don't think I need the Just Jade anymore. Then we're going to stamp three little bumblebee flowers. So one, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to fill in the center. I guess that's why I left this one open with all those little dots that are over here in my other tub from the other card. So those, the five little dots. Mm, yep. There, we're going to stamp those right inside there. And the kind of fun about this, it's kind of a whimsical stamp set. So if you don't stamp it perfectly, that's okay. The camera mount is basically in my way right now. So can't see quite as well as I would like. Okay, so we're gonna end with Magenta Madness and the big flower. And I'm actually gonna put, I want that. Sometimes your little stamp and pierce mat is a great surface to make sure. I think my ink pad wasn't inked. Yeah, look at that. This, I just re-inked it. So this is a lot more vibrant than the last one. Ooh, I love that. Beautiful color. Okay, so I think let me make sure. So we've got that pink one. We've got the three flowers and the two green leaves. Okay, so I think we are good. Now we're going to do a bunch of die cutting. So we might have to crank a time or two through here, but we will get it all taken care of. This one can stay right there because I also have little scraps of Magenta Madness and um, Bumblebee for that little pink piece and that little kind of orangey yellow piece there too. Okay, so get all of these going here and so you guys can see I didn't even use like there are more dies I'll show you show you them so these are all of the dies I did not use right so you can see like that little one um, would cut out where's the card would cut out this yellow that's totally covered now but that one would cut those little yellow babies out right there. Um, yeah, lots of, so there's some kind of accents and then some that actually cut out the um, flowers that are on there. And then actually these are all that we're gonna use. So you'll see these a little bit more in a sec, but a huge die set really. And I love, they actually gave us a couple of those little, those little guys right there. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's see. So how much can we get on here at once? I know I'm gonna to have to crank it through at least two times because, for example, like the green leaf. Okay, and this one, I know somebody has a trick. My trick is to just keep flipping it until you see it line up properly. Um, let's see, one more. It's gotta be about, there we go. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, it just fits. It's like an, oh, Hallelujah, it just fits for you. This little guy we're gonna use, that's just gonna be a little accent there. We're gonna cut one set of leaves. We're gonna do, eh, we'll do that in a sec. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to get two of these flowers. Oh, this is gonna be the other thing. The little magnetic plate's gonna be a little futsy for me. So I'm just gonna kind of keep moving my paper. Okay, so that one looks good. And this is another one. Um, you might have to turn a little bit until you get it where you want it. I was less concerned with those. I didn't mind if, um, oops, oh, that's why. <laughs> it was on an ink pad. Sorry, guys. Hello, Miss Debbie, watching from Southwest Michigan, I think you usually say. Okay, I'm glad you can be here with us. All right, so we've got this one. So there's that flower, right? We don't need that anymore. This is kind of a fun little thing. Oh, that didn't. That's good. Last time it stuck inside my die. So that's fun too, right? That just layers right on top of that one. And those are cute too, right? You could do something fun with that. I'm just going to leave that right there because I think that's kind of cool. 
All right, we're going to put that on there. Ooh, oh, that totally moved. Oh, hmm. We, what are we going to do about that? I guess we have to stamp another, stamp and cut another one. Oops, I did not see that. You guys probably saw that happening. I don't know what I was looking at, but I did not even notice that it was moving all over the place. Yeah, that's not going to be able to be saved <laughs> at all. That's just a big mess. Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm putting you guys to sleep. I've been told I have kind of a soothing voice. I don't know. Maybe not. Now I'm getting a little bit hyper about <laughs> how long this die cutting is taking. <laughs> Sorry. This, these are the moments when you're like, ooh, all right. Maybe you should have gotten more sleep last night, Amy. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that one leaf doesn't move. We definitely need two on there, so I'm going to have to stamp and cut another one. We'll do that real quick. I've got more white paper right here. Let's hope that this one worked, though, right? Okay, so we've got this fun little center thingy. You guys see that? That's kind of, it's like a little sun, right? You could have some fun making a little sun burst with that. Okay, so there, that one worked <laughs> much better than the other one. Okay, so that one, and come on, Amy, you can do it. Let's get those guys out of the way. Okay, so we're going to stamp one more leaf and die cut it. Ooh, that did not work. Now I'm trying to rush. Oh, it's because I was on like a crease in the table. Okay, last one. And then we can put it together. It's so cute. It's definitely worth the wait here, ladies, I promise. <laughs> I'm just sure of it. Do not move. Please do not move. I'm out of paper now, too, so if it moves, I'm in big trouble. Well, I mean, not not really. I mean, there's a whole lot of paper back in the my craft room. Okay, there we go. I think we got it all. Let's put all of this stuff out of the way, and let's put this card together. So the grid paper moved so much from all of my die cutting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just add, we're going to put our adhesive. So this is our big rectangle stitched magenta madness piece. We're going to add that right onto our card, just kind of at an angle. And then we will add this baby on next. Okay. That one right there. All right, now we need some dimensionals. And I want this little baby too. We're going to need that to especially like add adhesive on that one and that one. And then I think I'll put adhesive on those two. These guys all, these three all need little dimensionals and this one needs a big dimensional. Okay, so we're going to put the mini, a couple minis on these guys. A couple of bigger ones on there. Okay, so we're going to add this one. Oh, <laughs> hi, Miss Diana. Let's see what, oh, just got to log in. Oh, up to your ears and girl, ooh, Girl Scout cookies, yum. Is it that time of year? Ooh, I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for those. I feel like I missed them last year and I don't like it when I miss those Girl Scout cookies. They're pretty yummy. <laughs> That's awesome that you do that, Miss Diana. Okay, so we're just adding the leaves back there. We are just gonna kind of sprinkle these little guys, where do I, I don't know. We'll do it a little bit different on this one than I did on the other one. That one and that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe not, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna add a little bit of adhesive here and here, okay? And this one, I don't think there's really, like it doesn't matter if it goes in there perfectly. I'm gonna add that little guy right there. Just adds lots of texture, right? And then, because you know me, I can't stop with, the embellishments, this time I used, here we go, I'm trying to get them out here. These are the gold glitter enamel dots. We are gonna add a few of these. So I wanted just kind of a smallish one. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna like cut myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I can use my finger there. Yeah. Okay, so we got that one. And then I'm just going to add a couple more. You can see I just kind of sprinkled them around. Just something about that. Sprinkling them around on your card, right? Okay, so we will put maybe one. Oopsie daisy. I do like using my paper snips for this, though, for that reason, when it flips over. It's actually almost easier if they flip over than trying to get underneath them. 
and we'll put one maybe right there and then one more come on little buddy one more right there there all right card number two so you can see that one just a few more steps with the um, die cutting but so much texture and fun that you can have on these cards right so okay quick recap ladies as always here i'll bring both of these back out here too right you will get both of these projects that i demonstrated if you put an online order in of just at least 30 dollars, make sure you use this host code the 7wnjtgy9 you also get your name in the drawing to win the approaching perfection stamp set and then as always if you bump your order up to 50 dollars or more you get a free celebration item right now for three more days and from me you get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the opal rounds as my thank you to you so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that these cards kind of cheered you up perked you up um you know just give you a little joy on um you know the middle of february kind of long winter's day right so i hope everybody yeah i hope you guys are all doing well thank you so much again for all your prayers and well wishes for lily and our family they were heard and truly appreciated and have a great weekend guys i i am hoping to be back here next friday i was just so bummed that i wasn't able to be here last friday so thank you guys for hanging in there with me um through kind of the crazy times too so everybody have a good weekend and we'll see you soon bye